uh, allowances for this very camp. Mm -hmm. So these are the two camps. They come for the test series, they come for this, I was going to, supposed to be at the airport, and time is running. But um, everything, I've given him everything, so he's following it up tomorrow the session. So I kindly do good news. No problem, I'm here now. We well, thank you so much. Now I have no so myself. Allow me give you this flag. Yes. As the staff of Uganda, I want to formally to hand you our national flag, and I want to take this opportunity to flag you off to New Zealand for the New Zealand series. I wish you all the best and safe journey to New Zealand. I thank you so much, Madam Captain. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you see now, the height is not like me. <laughs> That's it. Yeah? Okay, thank you, Madam. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs>I want to correct you. These girls were paid all their dues for Commonwealth Games. They do not owe us anything. But what I want to say is that we as government are meant to facilitate them for all the international engagement. And as far as this specific one is concerned, I also want to say this that we received money from government, which money was advanced to National Council of Sports. National Council of Sports is meant to pass that same money the federations. However, for purpose of being accountable, the moment I came in, I brought in a bit of strict measures on how finances of government must be utilized. That before you're given any money, you must have accounted for the previous money which you had received. And I want to say this, the president of the Uganda Netball Federation has confirmed to me she has accounted for all government monies which were before her, and for that matter, the first money, which was a balance for their preparation for Commonwealth, has also been sent to the account. Now, the money which we are going to send to them is the money for this quarter, which money we expect the National Federation, Netball Federation, to receive it on Tuesday. So for that purpose, I want to pledge on behalf of Mama, the First Lady, and myself, the Minister of Sports, that the Uganda Netball Federation will receive their money the National Council of Sports, like any other federation, because I should speak even for others. Even football, up to now they have not received the money. Even boxing, you can even confirm with other federations. But money is on its way to the accounts for them to receive it. So, In, in your figures, you had some 20 million. It was a stipend, as you all remember, that actually the president hosted and the Minister of Education and Sports Mama hosted the best performing federation or athletes in State House for a dinner and remember Netball performed extremely well in Birmingham, Athletics Federation did well, Rugby Sevens did extremely well in South Africa and also we had the cricket. So for that matter, by the time the others received that small token of appreciation, the Netball Federation was in England playing their series and that helps them in, in, in world ranking. So for that matter, I have again followed it up with the controller who has played to me, the officer who is responsible is the one who must be able to deliver that money to the federation and I want to confirm, that's why I have asked them for the account numbers so that I forward those account numbers to the status controller, they are paid their token which the president gave them. Actually, he even increased that money to 50 million, not, not, not 20. So that is a, a, a positive. But in all fairness, I want to commit on behalf of government and sports specifically that the president has played to put in more money into the sports. And I want to request our sportsmen and women be patient with us. As you all know, we're having a few challenges here as, as the country is grappling from the COVID recovery. Now we're also getting another problem. But nevertheless, we will be there. And I want to thank them that they have overperformed. I want to be honest with you. The Uganda Network Federation has overperformed. The Sheikh Prince have overperformed. Being the sixth in the world is not something you take for granted. Look at the budgets of the best five and compare with ourselves. Talk about England, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa.
These are big countries in the world, but if you can be in their shoulders, then it means that if we put in money, then we shall all also be able to get into number one. You, you warned them about disappearing in this country. It's clear to our, our athletes who leave Uganda going to the rest of the world that number one, there's no need of really attempting to remain in that foreign country illegally. We are here to facilitate them to go back into those countries in a formal manner. Like now, they have gone there formally. Number two, you heard me encourage them. Please, when you're there, take advantage, showcase your talent so that a club can pick you for you to remain playing professional netball in that respective country. And they gave me cases already. As a country, we have three professional netballers who are out there. I'm told Oyela, I'm told Peace, and now Anazuba. They are out there showcasing the talent of Uganda. So these travels they are making, it's important they go because those countries, for instance, if you talk about to New Zealand, there's a strong net, netball league in New Zealand, there's a strong netball league in Australia, there's a strong netball league in England, Wales, name them, there's a strong netball league in South Africa. When I was in South Africa for Rugby 7, I had a meeting with the minister, deputy minister of sports. We are going to have an, a cooperation on how to cooperate, on how to help our both athletes in terms of training, in terms of coaching, exchanging coaches who come around and give us more skills. Because as Africa, we should all be aiming at one position. The same way South Africa would want to be number one in the world. It's the same way we should be cooperating that if they are the ones number one, it's a positive to Africa because we are one people. Maybe lastly, on yes. the lighter note. Because why am I bringing that? I have already started meeting the federations. Number two, I have put it in writing to National Council of Sports. Number three, I am beginning with a new budget. This is not an international competition, these are series. But if we're going for World Cup, I've already made a commitment. I want them to be in South Africa for one month. That means that getting there, number two, I will lean the delegation. I can promise you on that. And I've started leaning the delegations of all travels. Recently we had, is it, there was a, one of the federations which was traveling to Australia. I was able to lean it. I was able to take almost four, five technical people to have one I go with the coach. That's it. Because now I want to save money, we should be able to facilitate the players. I want to motivate the player. That's the most important thing. Number two, I want the player to feel at home. Wherever she is, they must feel at home. Because once I facilitate you, I expect medals. And that's my plan. I thank you so much. Thank you. Honest. Thank you. I'm soon learning. Uh, Atakonteka <laughs> No kubang and those are your cool dreams and the Kubidot of Yange and those of Bitu Kidiza, Chechen Yam Yokubang and Tokao. If you told young Zingas or Muzanivian Nina, Oxo Kedd Dalla, a child to Chang, a child to soccer, pulling your national team. National team when I did in Yako, a child to Echad Dako, Ban to when Ninyako, Baganda Kuntuala, or a child to Chang, a Kalichali, and the man Ninyako. Nangen Bering as Sisiga de Waka, Wabulang and Tamblan in National Team will give again Irang and Zanya. Have you to go to Kirizet or Techo? Till you get the colour of Lavango Colachi, till you get the colour, National Team, and obviously we're going to perform in Wotia. Can't you Kirizet at Chiroto, Nina performing Abulundi, Kubanga, Banis Zenevan to Allah, Banina or performing Oburundi, Saint Kupafen Minga Burundi Poka, Wabula. Uganda and see a finger Uganda to gain a good to gain a So many no color of Lunji, Nena performing a Lunji, Gawin's Brown Nesgi Zanga, a Zokfuna professional club. I feel very really good and blessed. Uh, what should we expect from you? You should expect more from me as a guest. I'm going to play well. And I, and you should also expect me, whichever whichever game I'm going to play, I'm going to play to, to my best. Now, what has helped you to make it to the national team? Because it's one of your dreams. 
it's it's all about God's grace and believing in myself that I can do it, I can make it on the national team. Yeah, together Change <laughs> So, and at least we know the rules, we know what it takes to be in the first five, how to be fast. You have to be like actually in shooting because it's where it is time which is where you have to score a six, three and the two goals if it, if, it, if it is your power quarters. So we know what we are going to do, the teams that are go we are going to play is New Zealand, Australia, England and Jamaica and South Africa. And those are the teams that have been playing. Some of the players are going to be there and some of our players are going to be there. So there are some places that are not going to be there but we are ready because we have trained, we know the rules and we know what we can do and shock some big countries.